Now, in most countries, these field or applied epidemiology programs are called FETPs. India already has two FETPs, one based in Chennai and one based here in Delhi. Both give academic degrees. They're both fine programs, but the, the participants in those FETPs are called either students or scholars, reflecting somewhat academic uh, approach of those programs. Dr. Chauhan, who was well aware that the field epidemiology training program in the United States is called the Epidemic Intelligence Service, or EIS, said what we want is an EIS-like program here in India that would be modeled on the U.S. program. That is a two-year postgraduate program of epidemiologic training through service that follows an apprenticeship model rather than an academic model. Well, the EIS program began in 1951. It's been around for over 60 years. It has a reputation all over the world uh, of doing good, solid epidemiology in the field. In 1955, it helped save the U.S. polio vaccination program when it identified children who had developed poliomyelitis after vaccination and the U.S. government was ready to shut down the entire polio program. EIS officers were the ones who determined that these polio vaccinated, these uh, polio uh, cases associated with vaccine were the result of receiving vaccine from a single manufacturer. And we should fix that problem rather than abolishing the entire program. That saved the polio vaccination program in the United States, which is leading to worldwide eradication, we hope soon. Since then, EIS officers have identified uh, numerous, uh, have conducted numerous investigations. They have fought against smallpox and polio worldwide, SARS, pandemic flu, and the like. They have been among the first to identify uh, and solve outbreaks of Legionnaire's disease, toxic shock syndrome, and AIDS. The EIS program in the United States has over 3,000 graduates including Dr. Jay Narain, EIS uh, entering cohort of 1981 and the first uh, EIS officer from India in the U.S. program. It includes Dr. Kayla Lazerson, who is becoming the resident advisor here in India, who came from Harvard University to join the EIS class of 1987, and includes me, EIS class of 1980. We are all incredibly proud of our, our program. When, when Dr. Narain and I were EIS officers, the director of CDC was a fellow named Dr. William Fagey. Some of you may know Dr. Fagey because he spent considerable time here in India helping to direct the smallpox eradication program here. But Dr. Fagey doesn't talk about academic epidemiology or field epidemiology or applied epidemiology. Dr. Fagey taught us and talks about consequential epidemiology. Epidemiology that makes a difference. And it's that spirit that has been imbued in the EIS officers in the United States. So, EI, so CDC does not share the EIS brand lightly. In fact, no other program around the world has used those initials EIS. India, therefore, has much to live up to, being the first to use that EIS brand. A lot is riding on Dr. Chauhan and the leadership here at NCDC, on Drs. Narain and Lazerson, on the India GDD office, on the support staff back in Atlanta, and mostly on these new EIS officers in the first cohort of this new India EIS program. And we are very proud to welcome you today. Less than one year ago, Dr. Chauhan and others convened a stakeholders workshop at NCDC. One year later, after an incredible amount of hard work by a